Hey guys, what's going on? Hope y'all having a great Sunday afternoon. And, um, or whenever you're watching this, I guess, you know, you could be watching this, it'll be Monday already. But, uh, but uh, it is Sunday, June 5th. And uh, it's very hot. <laughs> anyway, this is a slash update video, so I just want to go ahead and update you guys and say, I'm sorry that I've not uploaded in a long time. Well, I say long time, I think my last upload was like four or five days ago. But still, I was uploading consistently like every day to every other day. So I apologize for the lull in videos. I've been pretty busy lately. And my my girlfriend came and stayed with me for the weekend. So that was great. But of course, we're not going to get a chance to make a whole lot of videos. And so now, you know, really one of the last things on my mind, you know, you're with your girlfriend. You don't really think about YouTube that, don't, that, that much. At least you shouldn't anyway. <laughs> so anyway, apologize for that. And um, also, coming up probably tomorrow, which will be June 6th or uh, June 7th, um, I will have the standard Cobra Stitch bracelets available on eBay. Because right now I just have the King Cobras, so I think these will sell more. Personally, I've found that people like these more than the King Cobras. And uh, I like wearing them more. They're a little bit more comfortable for me. But uh, I know a lot of guys like the King Cobras as well. But I just want to give people the, uh, you know, the option. So those will be on there, obviously, for a little bit less because I use less paracord to make them. So my regular ones are on there for 10 with like $3 shipping. So these will be about 6 And uh, freaking ant, get out of there. So anyway, this video is requested by one of my viewers. Uh, his, uh, his or her channel will be right there in annotation. I cannot remember their name off the top of my head, but when I did my County Com unboxing, they recommended that I do a video on County Com's pocket sharpener. Now, if you've not seen these, then check them out. County Com's uh, link will be in the description. These things are great. Just a little keychain, pocket knife sharpeners. And they also show on their website people using uh, this thing to sharpen like chisels screwdriver heads which you could I, they'll use that little channel as a guide yeah you, you, you could do that I've never tried it but anyway I'm also not sure of the grit of this stone it feels pretty coarse so you know but I'm not sure like what grit it would be I don't think it says anywhere in the county comms description of this but anyway I'm gonna try it out got my Gerber pair frame right here very very old knife had this thing for almost five years but you know a lot of people trash this knife I've trashed it on several occasions <laughs> but uh after four years of really really heavy use with this knife it's held up really nicely you know it goes dull pretty fast that's because it has the Gerber mystery steel whatever the hell it is <laughs> and uh but you know, it has absolutely no blade play side to side or up and down um, through the years I've had it. And, uh, you know, it still opens and closes very smoothly. I mean, it's like Spyderco smooth. And I've only oiled it once, and that was the day I got it. So I can pop it open as fast as, a, uh, as an assisted opening knife. So, pretty nice. Like I said, it's got some design flaws, but... It's held up really nicely. So anyway, usually when I'd sharpen, I'd put some oil on here, like a, just a drop, and then rub it in pretty well. And uh, that's just to keep the metal out of the way when you're sharpening. It keeps the uh, microscopic metal flakes and flakes of carbon and everything like that. It just keeps it and makes it wipe off the stone, basically. So that way you're not sharpening into metal shavings, you're sharpening into the stone. And uh, that, that's pretty much what, what wet sanding is. You know, you add some water to the, to the piece of material you're sanding, and it just makes it so the particles you're sanding off is uh, going away from the material you're sanding. So, same principle applies when you're sharpening. But for the sake of this video, I'm not, because I'm going to be carrying this. And, you know, I'm not going to want, you know, all oil dripping out of this and for it to be all wet and everything. So, I'm not going to use any kind of oil. Uh, let me show you this like a before. It's not completely dull. It needs to be touched up. 
So it's, it's yeah, it's catching pretty bad on some spots. But like I said, it's not horrible. And uh, if this is good stone, it should, uh, should, you know, take an edge pretty well. This will take an edge very well with the right stone. So uh, let's see how this does. It should improve if it's a good stone. It's got these little handles right here, but that's not going to do much. And uh, just be very careful if you're using this stone. If you're trying this, at, you know, if you have the same stone, you're going to try along, you know, try to sharpen a knife with it. Be very, very careful because all it takes is one little slip and you lose some skin. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to put my finger on that little ring. Do like that because I don't want to be sharpening and then hit that split ring and have it damage the edge. So I'm going to sharpen like I would all my other knives. About 10 strokes on each side. Now, I've had a lot of requests to do some sharpening videos, but I've been kind of reluctant to do that because I'm not the end-all expert of knife sharpening. Yeah, be very careful with these strokes towards your body. Ten times, I'm going to go over about five more. I can do some sharpening videos, but everybody's technique's a little bit different. So I'd just be showing you the way I do it, and that way might not work for anybody else. It just works for me. But I can if you guys really want me to. Yeah, friggin' wasp just buzzed my head. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway. All right, I'd also normally use a leather strop, but I don't. I didn't bring one out here, and I just wanted you know to test the stone itself. You know, if you use a if you have a crappy sharpener and a good strop, just a strop will pretty much put an edge back on the knife. So let's see how just the sharpener is done. Whoops, caught up. So getting caught up. But it has, I can feel a, a little difference. And uh, let me go back over, use a little bit more pressure. Don't forget, you can also do this on a flat surf, on a surface. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. Get a little bit more pressure. You never want to let the tip slide off of the stone. If you do, you do. It happens to everybody. It just happened to me, but that will tend to roll the edge over, roll the tip over, I mean, and uh, make it blunt. You can see the stone has already has some discoloration on it just from the carbon buildup, so it is taking some material off of this knife. So, just judging by the way it feels, it's probably like a medium stone. Probably, I'm not a stone expert, probably 4,000 grit or something. Really not sure. All right, like I said, a strop would help, if, but and not many people carry a good piece of leather around with them all the time, you know what I mean? If, but if you have a leather belt on you, you know, that'll work. Um, I do not, however. So. Oh. Yeah, there we go. It will not push cut very well. But it will slice through the paper very easily. This knife never really can get push cutting sharp. Which when I when I say that, most knives can cut through pretty easily. This is cutting through cleanly, which is good, which means it did sharpen very nicely. 
but a push cut would be where you would basically hold the knife at an angle and just just push it through the paper and it will cut without having to draw the blade through the paper you wouldn't have to make a slashing motion to cut the paper you could just hold the edge there and basically push like almost pull the paper through the blade and uh, that is a, an incredibly sharp edge and uh, you know that's what I like to call Spyderco sharp <laughs> so anyway I would say in a pinch, this would do very well. I uh, would not try to sharpen a fixed blade with this at all. <laughs> but you know, it could be done. You would probably have to hold the fixed blade and then, you know, use the sharpener just like that. Which in that way, you could sharpen a machete if you had to. So, you know, if you had nothing else, last ditch, this would work fine. If you were going camping, I would recommend carrying a nicer stone with you. Something that could get your knife shaving sharp, you know, and a strop. But I mean, if you just wanted to carry this around on your keys to sharpen up your knives at work or whatever, if they get dull, it'd work great. This would sharpen up razor blades pretty well if you guys use a lot of box cutters and you just don't want to change the blade or you don't have any more blades. You just sharpen the ones you got. And then I'll work pretty well. So overall, I would recommend this. This thing goes for about 275, I think, off County Com. So I mean, you're really not losing much. Might as you know, just go pick one up, put it on your keychain or whatever, test it out. So definitely a uh, a cool addition to your to your little knife repertoire. <laughs> uh, your keys, your survival keychain, your bailout bags, your Maxpedition bags, your you know your your um, what do you call them? Versa packs. So yeah, just a cool thing to have. I have one of my FR1, and then there is this one that I got to uh, test out and possibly carry on my keychain. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any uh, questions or comments, just you know where to post them, guys. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Sherman614, peace.